With the new release of CPERTEC 5 version 9.50, all modular devices equipped with the communication module ETH-BD-2FO, the enhanced functionality of the routing manager is available. The main application of the routing manager will be the commissioning of a distributed bus bar protection in a wide area air isolated substation. With the routing manager, it will be possible to do all necessary actions like loading the firmware, loading the configuration, and testing from only one location. Mostly, it will be done via the central unit of the distributed bus bar protection. During commissioning, walking quite long distances between the central unit and the bay units can be avoided. So customer time and money can be saved during commissioning. With the routing manager functionality, it is possible to access via one gateway device to several local end devices. The gateway and all local end devices must be connected into a protection device network. This protection device network can for example be the process bus network which is used for the distributed bus bar protection. In the application of the distributed bus bar protection, the gateway device will be the central unit and the local end devices will be the bay units of the distributed bus bar protection. DIGC5 or the browser-based WebUI can be used on the operating PC to access the gateway device itself for all local end devices. Here the access path from the operating PC via port J of the gateway device to a local end device can be seen. And here the access path from the operating PC via the USB port of the gateway device to a local end device can be seen. The configuration of the routing manager is located in DIGC5, click Safety and Security, then choose Network Access Security option. The routing manager is disabled per default. In order to use the routing manager functionality, please click Enable. Only one device in the protection device network is allowed to be configured as gateway device. Both port J and the USB port can be used as entry point in the gateway device. All other devices must be configured as local end devices. At the local end devices only port J can be used as access point. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to sign up to our Pro Notes newsletter. Especially written for power engineers, it's full of highlights, product news and tutorials like this one. www.siemens.com slash pro minus notes. Wish you have fun with the new functionality in CProtect 5.